How to install and set up WAMP server. First, we need to navigate to wampserver.com. Then from here, we wanna to go to where it says download. And here we want to install WAMP server 64-bit version. So we'll go ahead and click on this. Don't worry about any of this. What we need to do is click on, you can download it directly. This is gonna take you to sourceforge.net. And then here, there'll be a green button that says download latest version. Go ahead and click on that. Once that file installs, go ahead and click on it to run the installation. And here we want to go ahead and click yes. We want this to remain as English. We need to accept their terms, hit next. And then here, you're gonna notice that it gives you all these warnings and it's gonna say that you don't wanna install WAMP server if you already have it installed, which you guys shouldn't if you haven't been in this before. And then we also need to make sure that we successfully install the Visual C++ packages. So to do this, we're gonna to navigate to this bottom WAMP server link here. Go ahead and click on that. And then from here, we need to navigate to the bottom of this page where it says, best way to install Visual C++ packages. And down here, it will say the files to download are here. We're gonna go ahead and click on this link. This will go ahead and take you to GitHub. And what we need to do is navigate to assets. And then we want this second file here where it ends in x64.exe here. Go ahead and click on that to download it. Once that downloads, what we wanna do is right click it and we want to show this in the folder and I'll go ahead and move that onto my screen. And for this, we need to go ahead and right click and run as an administrator. And we wanna go ahead and say yes. And then this is gonna go ahead and set up all the C++ files that we need to successfully install our WAMP server. So we only need to run that one time. And once that successfully runs, you will get installation is complete. So that's going to install all the necessary C++ packages that you need. So what we can do is minimize all of this, go back to our WAMP installation, and from here, we can go ahead and hit next. And what you wanna do is make sure that this installs to your C drive and creates a new folder called WAMP64, which is happening here. If it doesn't look like this for your installation, go ahead and change it to exactly this. And I'll also leave it down in the description if you guys just wanna copy and paste that in. From here, we wanna go ahead and click next. And this is gonna take a minute to install, so we'll go ahead and let this install. Once it installs, it will prompt you with the setup here, and we're not gonna use Edge as our browser, so we're gonna go ahead and hit no. And then we don't wanna use Notepad as our code editor, so we'll go ahead and hit no again. And now it will finish installing. After it installs, it will give you some information about how to use WAMP server, but I'll go ahead and go through that with you guys right now. And then make sure you go ahead and finish the prompts and click finish. And now what we need to do is go ahead and navigate to our WAMP server. So we'll go ahead and click our WAMP server here, type it in if it's not showing up. And this, we wanna hit yes. And now this will take a second to launch our server. And now you guys can see it says all services running and to navigate to it, you wanna use this little carrot icon down here, click on that and you will be able to see the WAMP icon here. And if it's green, everything is successfully running, but if it's red, something's broken, and if it's yellow or a brownish looking color, there is an issue likely with your SQL. If you have any issues and this is not green for whatever reason, go ahead and reach out to me through the comments and I will help you guys resolve that issue. So first is going to be our local host here. If we go ahead and click on that, it's gonna open our locally hosted server where we will be able to access our projects, but we haven't created any projects yet, but we will in a moment so I can show you guys how that works. But next in our WAMP icon back here, here is where you can also navigate to PHP My Admin. So if we go ahead and click on that, it will take us into our admin. And if this is your first time logging into your PHP My Admin on your WAMP server, all you need to do is type in root for your username, 
leave the password blank and you can log in from here and then you can eventually set up your own custom username and password here but this will help you guys get started next what you guys need to know is it will show you your virtual host obviously local host here it will show you apache and all the settings for apache and here is where you can change those settings and it will also show you the version that you're running in here is where you can either add versions or change to another version. It's going to be basically the same for PHP here. It's going to show you the version and what we want to do is go ahead and change this to the most up-to-date PHP version and you guys will notice once I click that all of this goes away and it'll show update settings here and now if we go back into our WAMP server PHP you guys will see that it changed to the newer version of PHP here. And here again is where you can change all of the settings and configure whatever you need to for PHP. And it's going to be the same for MySQL here where you can change the version or add versions. But the most important thing here is you can actually open MySQL console here and inside of this, you can go ahead and actually run queries here inside of your admin. So for your password here, you can set up something or if you don't want anything, you can just go ahead and hit enter. And now you guys can start entering your SQL queries here. And you guys can do the same thing with MariaDB as well if you're going to be using that. So you can change your version, update your settings and open your console all right within your WAMP server set up here. Now you guys are going to notice that when I open my local host, it defaults to Microsoft Edge, but I actually wanted to default to Chrome. So what I'm going to do is close this out and I need to navigate into my C drive where I have everything installed for my WAMP server set up. So I'll navigate back here. And what I need to do is navigate to my C drive and you guys will see the WAMP 64 folder here. From here, go ahead and click on that. And we need to navigate to our WAMP manager.config file here. So we'll go ahead and open that. For this, it doesn't really matter that much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it in the notepad just once. And here inside of our configuration file, we need to find where it says navigator and change this path here to our Chrome path. And I will leave this link down below in the description in case you guys need it. And we're also going to change out up here where it says edge to Chrome and say with capital C, and then we're going to say for Chrome instead of edge. Now make sure you guys go ahead and save that file. And once we do that, we can go ahead and close out. But from here, what you guys wanna do is go ahead and navigate back to your icon here right click and what we want to do is restart from zero so that will restart all of our services for our WAMP server completely from scratch if you guys run into any errors with your WAMP server this is going to be the first step you want to take to try and fix any problems that you're having but in our case we're just doing this so it will default to Chrome instead of Edge now. Now, once everything's successfully running again, we can navigate back to our icon here, click on localhost, and you guys will now see that it defaults to Chrome here. And now we wanna create a project here. So we wanna navigate back to our file manager. We wanna navigate back to our WAMP64 folder here, and we want to go to www here. Go ahead and open that. Don't mess with any of this information, just leave it as is for now. But what we need to do is create a new folder. And for the first project here, I'll go ahead and title this project. And then whatever code editor you guys wanna use, go ahead and open it now. And from here, we simply wanna navigate by opening the folder. So what we can do is navigate to our C drive, WAMP64, www and we can open our project file now and the next step is going to be to create a php file so i'll title this index.php and in here i'll just generate a quick boilerplate and i'll create an h1 element where i say subscribe make sure you go ahead and save that and then what we can do is go back here go back to our local host and refresh this page here you guys will see that project appears, but you guys will notice that we can't click on it and open it up. 
So to make this an actual hyperlink, what we need to do is navigate back to our WAMP icon. You wanna make sure that you right click this, go to WAMP settings here, and where it says caution risky, we wanna go there. And then we want to say allow links on projects homepage and obviously caution yourself with using this functionality if you're using sensitive data. But for us, we're not doing anything with any sensitive customer data or anything like that. So we'll say allow links on projects homepage. Once we do that, we can go ahead and refresh our page here and it will say update settings. And now we can click on our project file here and it will successfully open our index.php. And so once you get to this point, you can go back to whatever code editor you're using and continue to develop your website or web application using PHP and your WAMP server. In the next video, we're actually going to create a PHP website completely from scratch. So make sure you do not miss that video. If you run into any issues or problems today, reach out to me through the comments and I will help you out completely free. I hope this helped out. Thanks for watching.